Capricorn, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Lovelies. This is your What the Fuck reading for the 10th to the 16th of August. Crikey, I keep the tripod. Sorry, lovelies. I'm usually barefoot in here. And I've got flip flops on. And I didn't account for the other centimetres on the end. Sorry about that, lumps. You still got a clear view? No. Hold on. That's better, I think. Sorry, darlings. That was a bit bumpy ride, wasn't it? So, lovelies, let's go for your first aspect. And that is facing your fears and taking your fucking power back. And then your second aspect, what you've been manifesting and your wish fulfillment on why this may be fucked. Um, just a little bit of a change to the channels, darlings, because I'm so now chock-a-block with work and university, I am going to be putting up um, every day. So although everything will be ready for the following Monday, um, I've decided to post um, videos Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So that's all your, all your, um, sorry, that's all your elements rather than your signs. So Monday I think is going to be Earth, Tuesday will be Fire, Wednesday will be Water and then Thursday will be Air. And the reason I've done it that way is because I've tried to break up the ones that I find difficult to read. And it's funny, isn't it? Because I'm mainly air um, and water in my chart. Um, and it's those two that I find really difficult. The others, I don't. Um, and Scorpio and Pisces are right, but I'm very loaded with Cancer in my chart and I do find that so difficult to read um, yeah just difficult to read so keep a look out for that they will be going up at different times ready for the following Monday so that's what you can do no what you sorry darling your journey what you can do what you can't do what the fuck is out your hands like these cards are out of mine and then we're going to be going to the reconnection to the true you. Oh, we'll go with the one that flipped. And then we're looking for an outcome, please. An outcome for Capricorn, please. Thank you. So, my darlings, what started your what the fuck? You've got the king of a Thames. Now, this could be an energy around you, male or female, um, air sign predominantly or just shows the characteristics of an air sign. This person is highly learned. This person is highly intelligent. They know their stuff. They've been it, seen it, done it. They've learned everything they can and probably more. Um, but this is always around somebody that's highly qualified. So this is going to be a lawyer, a solicitor, an advocate, a teacher, um, a university lecturer, a doctor, a nurse, a social worker, 
all of those sort of people that have really highly experienced in the field of giving advice and I'm getting that taking some advice caused you a what the fuck and I'm going to hazard a guess that what it's done is because you're an earth sign you've had a burning desire to do something and by getting this advice it's kind of dampened it down for you. I'm not going to say it blew it out of the water or it blew it away on the wind, but I'm going to say it definitely dampened things down for you and tried to get you to get into thinking mode about the situation. So your first aspect, guys, and this is what I'm saying about this burning desire facing your fears and taking the fucking power back we've done that with the queen of wands now this is a fire sign she is really good at making your wishes come true she will also whoop your ass with that wand if you don't listen so she is fire again when it blows up with this person male or female again it is over and done with really quickly because they kind of like burn bright and burn out on everything, every single level. So darlings, once they know what your desire is, they can help you bring that into fruition. And what I'm getting is that you're facing your fears that after this advice that you've had, and it doesn't have to be that you went to an official person, it could be that you've just taken advice from somebody that you know that you kind of trust that have got qualifications up to the wazoo, it doesn't mean that they've got an ounce of common sense, darlings. So listen to your gut feeling. You've got this queen of wands. I'm getting that if she's an energy around you, and I say male or female, this person will have your back wholeheartedly. They they won't they won't let it go until you let it go and then you just might get a bit of a tap on the head with that wand about oi come on you can't give up that easily but I think this person is wholeheartedly getting you to understand where your desire is coming from why it means so much to you and why taking this advice from somebody has knocked your confidence but with this one you'll get your confidence back because you're getting a new lease, a new burn for this desire. So darlings, what you've been manifesting your wish fulfillment and why this may be fucked, you're asking for a time out, loves. You're asking for a time out. You've gone and laid under that tree. You're kind of thinking that you're grounding yourself. However, all those thoughts are churning over and over in your head. So as you're manifesting this, be careful what you wish for. Because although you're asking for a time out and to go and ground somewhere, those thoughts will stay with you until you've sorted them out and put them away somewhere. So before you go under that tree, thinking you're grounding, have a good think about the thoughts that are churning around in your head because they will stop you from getting that time out that apparently you need according to the other realm I'm getting that you're tired Capricorn so lovelies your journey your movement where the fuck you need to be you've got the ace of wands this is your desire starting up again this is the beginning of that desire and what's happening is the clouds are parting the wand is drawing down energy to those beautiful plump cherries at the bottom here and what it's saying to you is when you pick one of those cherries as your choice it will be the sweetest taste you have ever tasted because that's what burning desires do what is it with you and times out lovely so the next way is what the fuck you can do about this and normally I get, oh, you're a bit depressed, you're a bit in despair, you're not taking any notice of the moon, da 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 I'm getting that you want another time out, that's what you want to do about it. You just want to be fucking left alone. Fuck off the lot of you. That's exactly what I'm getting. I am getting, I don't want to look at the moon, 
I don't care that there's a bat in the window. I don't give a shit that everybody else wants me to do this and that this is a burning desire. I just want a fucking time out. And until you've taken that time out, I don't think you're going to be able to do anything about this situation. You need to completely recharge your batteries. You need to rest and rejuvenate. You really do. It's clearly in your manifestation and then clearly it's saying that's what you can do about the situation. Just take a time out. So, my lovelies, what the fuck you can't do about the situation is that it's going to move on. It is going to move forward. You are going to move forward. You are moving towards a new way of life. Now, this is a thing. This is in your thoughts. It is your thoughts processes that if you walk away... And you start again somewhere completely new that you can have exactly what you want. And with this being the seven of a theme, is that's exactly what the cards are telling you. It doesn't have to be a physical move. It can be a mental shift. It can be an emotional um, aha moment. Or it can actually be a physical, I am going to leave this space and I'm going to go somewhere else. Uh, whichever that is for you, you haven't got much control over that. That is something that you kind of know is happening around you. Um, but I don't even think you want to control it. I think you're kind of rolling with it at the moment. It's not like you, Capricorn. So right in behind that, you have the Sith. Now, the Sith in this particular deck is a witch and she she draws energy down from the moon and the goddess and she works with the fae folk now if you know anything about um irish folklore you will know that the sith is a fairy of sorts and a witch if you like but they tend to be the bigger people and they share their space with the wee people which is these beautiful fairies here and this is completely magical what's happening around you. This is sort of like fairy dust and finding um, glistening cobwebs and seeing the moon completely differently and all of that stuff. But this magic that's happening around you. Allow those fey folk to whisper you, to you. Allow them to add the magic to the pot that you need in order to get this to where you want it to be. And all you've got to do is sit back and let it happen. Just sit back and let it happen. Because there is sod all you can do about it anyway. So the reconnecting to your true self. You've got the witch. She is number one in the deck. This is a beginning. This is you going back to basics. And learning to touch base with the earth. With all of the elements. But particularly grounding yourself. And making sure... That you are, have got safe working practices. And I'm not talking about at work. I'm talking magically. I'm talking spiritually. I am talking mentally, emotionally. Whichever way you do this. Whether you do a blessing. An opening prayer. A closing prayer. Cast a circle. Do a mantra. It doesn't matter. As long as you feel that you are protected. While you work magically. That, my loves, is how you're going to reconnect to your true self. And I do get very strongly that your timeouts that you're asking for are of a meditative state. You just want the time to go and meditate. You just want the time to be able to take time out. And it's not so much as a time out as it is a time in because you want to go within yourself and you want to do that meditation you want to do that emotional work you want to do that knowledge and it is to go within yourself that is going to enable you to protect your outer self so my lovely capricorns what's at the end you are you've got so many athames in this reading you're two ones and one two three four 
this is your fifth of fame card and what this is telling you the six of the is looking out towards your future you have put your thymus you've had all your thoughts and feelings you put them in the boat there and you're looking out but you haven't quite cut the rope to move towards your future capricorn and you've got another thymus and loves this is the night of thymus this is messages galloping in towards you this is messages coming in really, really quickly about, again, and this is a pentacle, with the page of pentacles going back to basics, relearning something, earthing yourself about something that you've already learned, but there may be a new way of doing it, there may be new things that have come up about it, or it may be that you just need to recap that essence that excitement that you had when you first learnt this when you first started to add to your toolkit so Capricorn at the bottom of the deck you have the wheel of the year this is really lucky to have this in your reading but darlings don't spin that wheel you're never going to get anywhere fast you need to tread the wheel let it go through the seasons and let the seasons do what they need to do. You do not need to start spinning things because it will just send you back to the beginning again. Do you know something? At first I thought, oh God, this is going to be hard reading. But in actual fact, it's just turned out that you really do need to do... You know you need to do this work. I'm not going to teach you how to suck eggs. I'm not. Um, but this person who gave you that advice... I think it's got you second guessing yourself and I think you need that time out to retouch base with yourself and there's no bad thing in that Capricorn. Let's face it, we were all running at 500 miles an hour prior to lockdown. During to lockdown we went to zero miles an hour, we've come out of lockdown we're going a thousand miles an hour and now they're talking about another lockdown. Um, so I'm not surprised that there's confusion around what it is that you want to do um, it's just the way of the world at the moment and don't forget um, if there's something you really can't deal with you really don't know what to do with it ask the universe let them come in and help you the ancestors and the angels are always there to lend a helping hand and if it's something you want to get rid of let them get rid of it for you. Let them do um, the dissipating for you. So this is the Angels and Ancestors deck and we're going to ask for knowledge, wisdom and guidance for this week, the 10th to the 16th of August. Anything else for Capricorn? Thank you. So darling, your first card that came out, you've got the Earth Guardian, no shit Batman. Um, stay rooted and grounded for an Earth sign, really. Your second card is Mountain. Stand your ground. Fits in beautifully with your reading. And the last one is the White Witch be the light what was i saying about this witch coming in and doing this and you've got the witch here as well just be the light lovelies you know you can capricorn that's your reading darlings i will see you in next week's reading take care bye for now